Hello! Welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And on Instagram, I'm going to be doing some polls so that you can vote on who I should be reacting to. So you can find me at Beth Roars on all these mediums. You can also find my website, which is BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. I do lessons both in London, UK and online. And last but not least, do check out my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get more exclusive content and guarantee that your request definitely happens. Now, this one actually was a request by Michael. Hey, Michael, thank you so much for the request. I haven't heard it before. I do remember people talking about this band when I was at school and I still don't don't really know about them or haven't actually listened to them so let's give it a go. Ooh. Noisy crowds. Ooh, lovely piano as well. Once my life was plain and clear I recall once my ignorance was bliss I love that. I love the contrast between this beautiful, pure, ethereal soprano and then his really deep, creaky voice. And I love, both of them have quite matching, slow, wobbly vibratos, but I really like it. It's so spoken. My trouble, my Why, oh why, my God, have you I love what he's doing. He's doing. Some bits are really speechy, some bits are really on the consonants. In my sobriety. It's really closed, but then he really opens up and allows this free vibrato to come through, which is beautiful. And just the bottom range, I love it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I also love these little bits of cry, which is a uh, sort of sound in there. If you think of being like, oh no, it's that sound in what he's singing and he's just using it on odd notes which make it feel emotional and just beautiful. The tea behind the old and then really open here, behind. So take me across the river. Almost sounds auto tuned, but I don't know if it is. Promises were made on my soul, grand delusions led astray. I just said it sounds auto tuned. I don't know if it is. It might just be a really pure tone with a really lovely reverb that gives it that effect. But he sounds great when he's at the top and is so easy. I love the difference between these big open legato phrases where he's really opening his mouth, making it nice and smooth, and modifying the vowels into more round vowels, like R's and things like that. And then he's doing the complete opposite and switching between these two different effects. So really closing, singing on the consonants, making it very speechy and percussive. He's doing each effect very well and in quick succession. So you don't really notice the difference between the two, but um, it's just very expressive. He's thought about each word and how to express each word in a different way. Hey, uh, I See, I close. Swept my heart away Bring and then these... me back to you Okay, I think there might be a drop in a bit so I don't want to um, stop it in the middle of that but it's these diphthongs so he's changing eyes 
closing onto the E. Don't do what I just did and jut your jaw. It's a very bad, bad technique. I was trying to over exaggerate. Eyes cold. And then closing and sometimes scooping off the ends of notes as well. Very good. Why, oh why, my God, have you abandoned me in my sobriety? Basically, yeah. The I can't, there's so much stuff that he's doing. So, on that phrase, there was a lovely crescendo, and then the next one, the vibrato in the end, the na na na, straight with the vibrato. Every note, he's doing something new and exciting, sometimes keeping it open, sometimes closing it, sometimes crescendoing, sometimes making it quiet, sometimes falling off the end. There's so many different things he's doing. I didn't think that I would be as into this as I am. That's where I think the autocorrect is. Autotune, sorry. So what's making this sound ethereal and more towards classical is that she is more towards head voice. So often when you hear like a rocky pop singer, she, they've got that heavier sound. So they do use a mix, but it's more, more chest resonance in there. This is a lighter tone. It is pretty much head voice, even though it is fairly low. <laughs> so surprising about this is because he was singing so low earlier that I wasn't sure if his voice would naturally sit in these higher places but these are like B flats, G's, very easy, well mixed, not too heavy, super supported. I love it. using the diction to make it stronger so he's not necessarily going for volume you can tell because the mic is close to his mouth he is going for diction and intention sometimes putting some distortion in sometimes not a lot of the time he's very very clean as well but it's all about the way he's attacking the note with the consonants that is making it feel aggressive and strong <laughs>
love how he gets to the end of phrases and then just falls off the end of the note and puts that distortion through. Light! It, it's just a really beautiful ending to a phrase and it adds that kind of gruff aggression in as well. While still sounding supported and well sung at the same time, which is the difficult thing to get the balance right, he's just putting the right amount of distortions in when needed and then switching into these super clean notes. <laughs> I say this in every video but it is all about the mix. He's mixing so well, it's such a chest resonant mix as well but you can hear that it slightly gets lighter as he gets higher. What people do wrong in this situation when trying to sing along with things like this is they try and push their chest voice up and quite frankly you're very, unless you Unless your voice is naturally set up in that way, you're very unlikely to reach these notes trying to push it. But he is lightening off, he's allowing his larynx to tilt, which is a bit of a technical term, but he's moving towards head voice while keeping the chest resonance, while boosting the lower harmonics. And that is what's making this beefy, warm sound, but super high. It's really, really good. You can see the crowd got absolutely mad for that and there's a reason, it just is so punchy and the musicianship in general with the band was great as well but also his musicianship with his voice, each note was different, he had different attacks on each note and came off notes in different ways so what we call in the singing teaching trade is your onset and your offset, each one is different, the way you get onto a note and the way you get off to a note. The, whether he crescendos, whether he slides off it, whether he makes it full, whether he adds vibrato, whether he makes it breathy, whether he adds distortion, it's very, very good singing and I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. I do videos every single day apart from Sundays and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.